that I'm at an all time. Hey, what is going on guys? I've been hoping because I have a great day. And today I just want to give you some tips on how to improve your accuracy in Modern Warfare Remastered. Or realistically, this can apply for any Call of Duty. Um, it's difficult to talk about like jetpacks, cod boots on the ground cod. So I figured I'd just kind of start with Modern Warfare Remastered. The most simple, you know, one of the most simple cods of them all. Um, and to start, to help out your accuracy a little bit, I thought this would be a little bit different of a video. Um, in case you're wondering, my date went really well, actually. Uh, let's just say your boy's got a girlfriend now. Uh, so I'm, I'm going to keep it at that for now. Maybe I'll do another. If you guys want to see, or like, you know, if you want me to make a video about it, just leave a like and comment down below and let me know. And, of course, you know I will for you guys. But, um, anyway, to start off, I want to talk about your sensitivity. If you find yourself like trying to get on a target like this and you find yourself going too far to one side or another, either put, turn your accuracy up or down. It is possible to have too low of an accuracy. I was I had that problem for uh, a, like for a, a little while. I was like so confused on how I was so off target, but my sensitivity felt super low and I didn't know it's possible to have bad accuracy with low sensitivity. Now I know that sounds crazy. Like what? You didn't know that? You're an idiot. And I'm playing very horribly right now, I know. Not very smart. So you just want to mess with your accuracy. Make sure you're kind of, you know, getting it on point. Like, you know, whatever you want to be targeted on, you're shooting it. Um, the second thing I'd recommend is either going to, like, Best Buy. Best Buy or, you know, Walmart or something. And trying to get a pair of Control Freaks. Now, I've been playing with them for about two days now. I don't know how. I have Deep Impact. I don't know how that guy didn't die. Now, I've been playing with a pair of Control Freaks for about two days now. And I'll say one thing. Are you fucking kidding me? You're a fucking piece of shit, dude. Oh my god. You just like pissing people off, apparently. But I've been playing with Control Freaks for about two days now. I must admit, once you get used to them, they really up your accuracy. I haven't been playing much IW, so I, like I said, jetpack games I can't really apply to since I haven't been playing much lately. Oh my god, please get in the building. But I can say for like Modern Warfare Remastered, it's up my accuracy to a whole nother level. I swear to god, all these guys are doing is nading. It's like you don't even know how to shoot a gun. Okay, I've decided to plot an MP5, but like I was saying, you really just want to get your sensitivity good. If you can, pick up a pair of control freaks. And if you really want to go above and beyond the limits to get like a better monitor, because there's a lot of there's a lot of people that aren't that bad, but they think they're bad because you're playing with like a monitor that has too slow of a refresh rate, and it turns out that you're just getting shit on because they're essentially a second ahead of you in the game. So if you can. Make sure you're picking up, like, you know, a, t a two millisecond monitor or something. And other than that, you just gotta practice. Another thing with accuracy, it's not like you're gonna jump on a game, you know, fresh out that you haven't been playing, like, much at all. And you're just gonna be an absolute guy, you know what I mean? You gotta have lots of practice in a game. It's just, you know, you're not gonna, like, pick up a game today and be the pro at it. Like, if you got it on a computer right now and tried playing CSGO, you're not gonna be, like, the fucking ultimate king and no one can kill you. It's especially CSGO. CSGO's a very difficult game. Well, so pretty much the three or four essential things. Adjust your accuracy. Make sure it's like where you want it. I highly recommend a pair of control freaks. A good monitor, but that's not more or less for accuracy. That's more upon, you know, just being able to keep up with people as far as in game the time. And then play the game a lot. You just got to practice a lot. And, you know, that's the only way you're going to get good at something. Like football or even or a sport in general. Like, in order to get a play down pack to know all of its flaws and know how it runs right and, like, how to play it, you have to practice. It just, it's just how the world works. You're not going to, like, some people are naturally just absolute legends. I don't know how they do it. But, like, you're not, there's a lot of people that aren't going to be like that. I got an airstrike and didn't even notice. I think they're flying back here. Looks like they are from here. I guess one more tip I could do is like find your playing style. Like if you're really aggressive, make sure you're using like a close range gun, like a submachine gun, an automatic preferably. And if you play kind of slow, kind of back, I hope you're not camping because you guys know how I feel about that. But if you're playing like slow, you know, kind of back, you know, you should play with like an AR. And you're more of a head glitch kind of guy. Like you're more a guy that just like comes up on this tank. Oh, if I, I can't tank it on this tank, I thought you could. But if you're more of a guy that just kind of props up on something on a head glitch, you're not going to want to try and map people to submachine gun. I guess that's another tip I could give you. I'm more of an aggressive player. Subs always fit me. It's just in this game that the AR so happen to be way more overpowered. And in most cases, like I said, unless you're really like in a good close range battle, you're most likely going to win with like an MP5 against an M16. So just note how you're playing. Like I said, if you find yourself getting in a lot of close range gunfights, 
you're most likely going to want to go with like a you know submachine gun but if you find yourself getting into like you know you find yourself on a head glitch trying to pick people off from a distance you're most likely going to want to play with like an ar an m16 or an ak or a carbine or whatever or whatever game it is it doesn't have to be modern warfare bastard um if there isn't if there's any tips i can give in a jetpack game like i play claw so i can like shoot and strafe and jump all at the same time which is one thing I highly recommend trying to get used to is playing claw. If you don't know what claw is, essentially, instead of playing with your two thumbs like this and you have your fingers on the trigger finger, you see, like, you have to take your thumb off the aim and move button or whatever in order to press, like, reload or switch weapons or whatever. Uh, claw is essentially where you put your middle finger on the shoot button. I play a uh, bumper, like, with the bumpers. I shoot with the bumpers. So you have both your thumbs on the sticks at all times, but you can press any of these buttons with your pointer finger. If I didn't explain that very well, you can find lots of videos on it, like, anywhere. But pretty much that allows you to be able to jump with this finger, shoot and aim with these, and, like, move around and all of this with these. All at the same time. It just takes some adjusting. Um, if you have bigger hands, it's more likely meant for you. So, that's, like, you know, I have some pretty colossless hands. Like, I can pretty, you know, like, this controller is nothing to me. Like, it's a very, for me, it's a pretty small controller, so it's easy for me to play claw. But if you have a lot smaller hands, I recommend getting, like, a Battle Beaver, like, a Scuff or something. I've never looked at it as cheating, even though some people do, but I don't need it. But, anyway, guys, I think that's all I have for you today as far as tips. I hope a nice, short, sweet video. I hope it helps you guys out. If it does, don't, don't forget to comment down below or leave a like. And if you are new, don't forget to subscribe. Hope you guys have a great day. I hope you guys are having a great weekend, because today is Saturday. And I'll see you guys in the next video.